right, we're heading up. Apartment on the rooftop. Hey. Hey, Tonio. <laughs> there it is, the apartamento. All right, let's go check out what Tonio has going on. All right, this is where the magic happens. So here we are in Tonio's kitchen. We're gonna dial in with the Rocket Apartamento. This is the new version from 2023. He's got all the gear and he actually makes a really good espresso. I'm just gonna help him out to tweak it a little bit to get the most out of these beans. Let's get it. All right, so first, Tonio's gonna walk me through his typical workflow, dialing in the espresso, you know, first thing in the morning, getting up, making an espresso with the grinder over here, espresso machine over here, and then we're gonna taste, we're gonna revisit maybe some of the little things that, that Tonio does and see how they can be improved to potentially make an even better espresso. But let's taste first, and then of course, along the way, what a lot of you are here for. We're gonna talk more about the features of the Rocket Apartamento, especially this beautiful new version right here. And which coffee are we using today? We're using this Santa Clara from Brazil. It's from Three Mars Coffee. All right, so what do you start with over here? I start with uh, one of these. This is a pre-dose I made. I put here 18 grams, so in the morning I, I don't have to measure every time. So I, I know it's exactly 18 grams. I do a bit of... And so the spray is to avoid static, and this little plunger thing is to plunge out any of the retention so we get exactly the dose that we're looking for. Which grinder is this? Eureka Specialita. You like it? Yep. Now I put this funnel so I don't have problems while I make the distribution. I use this for distribution a little bit more. For uh, one two ratio, we will do 36, 36 grams out in about 25 30 seconds. All right, so let's give this a taste. Mm. It's um, it's got some nice body to it but I feel like it's quite salty. It reminds me of soy sauce, which may be good in some settings, but when we're looking for coffee, we're trying to avoid that sort of sushi flavor. I just think we can get a little bit more sweetness out of there and some more pleasant acidity. One test you can do really quick is actually to add some hot water. So we got the little hot water spout, nice and slow. So that's what I like to do when I feel like the coffee is maybe a little bit under extracted. I add some hot water and it helps open it up. So obviously this is a little Americano here. We're looking for espresso, but it'll help us get on the right track in terms of how juicy can this espresso be if you just open it up a bit. So we're gonna try that again. Have you changed the, the grind size at all? I was playing a lot at the beginning, but not anymore because now I using kind of the same kind of coffee. Finally, it reads like almost no channeling ever. I don't twist anymore because I was finding like a nightmare. You make a very small adjustment in the grinder and it makes much of a difference in the, in the process. And it's, uh, for me, at least it's very tricky. Maybe last time when I changed the grinder, it was three months ago or something. So that's something really good to keep in mind, actually. This is something I wanted to comment on because espresso, it's always about balance. It's always fine adjustments. You're always playing. So when you said you didn't change the grind size for a few months, we could probably make it a little bit finer because coffee changes. Even if it's the exact same coffee, the humidity, the temperature. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it a little bit finer, small adjustment, and see how the coffee extracts. bit sweeter has a little bit more body that's pretty common when you go finer on the grind you can get a little bit more uh, substance there more texture still a one to two ratio we could try with a little bit more 
water, maybe a one to two point something. Uh, but actually with this style of coffee, it's a little bit, you know, it's a Brazilian coffee. It's more on the nutty side. I wouldn't really want to push it too far. I would just keep going a little bit finer and finer until we get to that sweet spot. And then we can also adjust the dose in order to increase or decrease the body. 17.5 grams and see if we can just make the espresso a little bit more expressive. Expressive. This is pretty cool. For keeping the coffee fresh. It's looking pretty good. Running a little bit faster, as we might expect if we down dose. Okay, 36 mils. Oh wow, that tastes a lot better. It's a lot more fruity. You gotta try this. Yeah, much better. So you like this one more? Yeah. I liked it more too. The salty thing is not there anymore. It's magic. This is the art of dialing in. There's no set rules. There's no specific ratios or specific doses that you have to work with. Like we said before, the coffee is a living product that's always changing. And so we made it a little bit finer, but we also dropped the dose. When the water is hitting the puck, there is less coffee for it to go through. So it is going through a little bit quicker. We're arriving at the same 36 milliliters out. So it's it's allowing for more of those flavors to come out. And, and we just noticed that it, it really diminished any of the saltiness. This might work for the coffee that you're using at home. It might not, you have to play around and see. Of course, if you got your set recipe and you really like the flavor, that's great. But you're gonna need to change things over time when you introduce different coffees or even as your coffee starts to age and, and change over time. So what do you like about this machine? I like the design. It's a very compact. That's the reason because it's called Apartamento. It's because it's for an Apartamento. It's a very small size and it looks good in every kitchen, I think. And it's very powerful. You can, you can steam a lot. One feature that this machine has that your previous machine, I think it was a DeLonghi, didn't have. Well, also is the opposite because the longi I had before have a grinder on top, but even with that, you don't have a good control of the espresso because the, the grinder who comes with the longi, you didn't have a really control of the size and it's not a good quality grinder. I don't know exactly why, but keeping the same receipt in the longi and here, here I got much better espressos, like more body, more creamy and everything is better. What is this little thing over here? smart plug because it takes like 30 40 minutes to keep the rice temperature to brew and with this i turn on off and every morning at seven in the morning it automatically goes on so when i come here at eight nine i don't have to worry about turn on and wait to to the machine to heat up because it's already preheated well that seems like a good place to wrap it up the apartamento built for an apartamento for a piso here in Spain. So if you want to know more about different espresso machines, different brewers, check out some of my other videos right up here and we'll see you in the next video.